Hello! Welcome to day 10 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Today's video is about drawing a family member. For this I printed a photo of my nephew. Because he's so cute and I love him so much and he's just like me, half Thai and I guess he also wanted me to draw him, so it's perfect for this video. But in today's video I won't draw a realistic picture of him. I will turn him into a manga figure. I usually do manga portraits when I'm on conventions. But in the last couple of weeks I was thinking about offer this as a commission. Because I know a lot of people always ask me, hey, um, would you mind uh, drawing me as a manga character or can I um, commission you? And I'm always like, ah, sorry, I'm only offer this on conventions and uh, because I have so much other things to do. But I'm saving up money because end of the year my boyfriend and I we want to go to Thailand and for this we need some money and so I'm really thinking about um, offer some commissions. I don't think I will offer full colored pictures but some line artworks and um, pencil drawings uh, that should be possible for me to do and because there's no coloration it would be also a bit cheaper for you. So I think it's not a bad idea. So make sure to check out my Etsy shop by time. And, and maybe in the next days I will offer some commissions. Of course you can also buy just my original art in my shop. Or my artwork and other prints. Um, maybe you can hear it, I'm talking without a script. I usually write scripts for my videos because I got a lot of thoughts of the things I'm talking about and um, I don't want to forget something and, and I also want you to understand me properly because sometimes I have such problems with times and grammar and uh, but I think the more voiceovers I do and the more I write um, the better I get and sometimes when I see all the scripts or subtitles I did, I'm like, oh my god, you can't be serious, you wrote drawed and not drew? That's so embarrassing. A lot of you who are native speakers um, think my accent and my mistakes are kind of cute and I also think when uh, somebody else is talking German with a huge accent and with a lot of um, grammatical mistakes. I think it's so adorable and and I feel somehow honored because the person likes this language so much and he's so good at learning it. I know that a lot of my German viewers uh, wish that I'm just talking German because I am German and my channel is German but I'm but I decided to talk in English and write in English and not in German. I gained so many not German speaking followers on YouTube that I thought that it would be better to talk in English and I see that it's also helpful for me to learn this language or at least get better in this language. And it's just because of the fact that 
out of, let me say, seven out of ten people are not German people who are watching my videos. So I think it would be strange if I would continue or um, start doing my videos in German. And it was also my thought that in Germany we learn English, we got English lessons in school. So I don't think it would be that complicated, uh, especially in this time, um, to talk English or at least understand English. I guess it's just a matter of uh, practice and learning progresses, but it's possible for us to learn English, so I think it's convenient and and it's also because of that fact that I won't stop doing my videos in English. Because of the English language, I can reach a lot of people in the whole world. And I think it's pretty awesome um, to get in contact with a lot of different people from all around the world. I know that I'm doing a lot of mistakes, but I'm giving my best and as long as you understand me, I'm good with it. But let's change the topic and let me answer to your questions of my previous video. Stephanie Martin, my question is, have you ever been to the US or do you plan to visit? I have never been in the US, but I really want to visit and I really want to visit Portland because I saw it in a documentary and it looks so interesting and so cool and and somehow it uh, reminds me a bit of Berlin because of all these crazy people but in a good way and all these food trucks and oh my god if I would travel through the world I would mainly do it because of eating delicious stuff HH asks do you understand Thai? Need neu ka I just understand a bit and because I'm familiar with this language I sometimes feel like I'm understanding what the person what the person is saying but you could never have a conversation with me in Thai I just know some things um, some some casual stuff like hello thank you goodbye um, I'm not hungry it was tasty and that stuff. <laughs> Tasha Nicole. My questions for you. What other mediums have you tried and what's one you haven't tried but want to try? Um, uh, besides Copic and watercolors. Mm, it's a good question. Uh, Colored pencils. Uh, okay, I'm I'm also a bit familiar with this. Um, difficult, difficult. Oil paintings. I never really tried it. I used it once, I think, and it was a horrible experience. Um, other mediums I've tried. Um, acrylic paints and ink and uh, uh, empty brain um, something I haven't tried but I want to try that's a tough question um, I I really don't know maybe um, ah glow in the dark paintings that's what I really want to try and the final question Suriano Miller Hello, Ramu-chan. You can call me Mila. I have two questions to ya. <laughs> First, when you were still a beginner, you used some kind of body basis to draw something? If yes, you still need to do these today when you don't know how to draw something? I really never used basis in my life. Because when I was a beginner, I don't have internet, um, I just had television and some books and that's all. I just sat in front of my desk and just learned drawing. And I would not recommend to use body bases because you can't learn from it how to draw a body. Uh, second question. 
This question is more like asking an advice, yours to me, because I'm really needing some. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, think is a good idea, make a channel with other person, your, your BFF to be exact, uh, with the fact that one is on one side of the world and the other is on the other side of the world. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Thanks for helping me to get inspired to draw again. Oh, I love it so much. If you tell me that I'm, I'm an inspiration, it makes me so happy. It's the best compliment you can give me. <laughs> but to answer your question, um, I won't say it's a bad idea. It really depends on what kind of persons you both are. I think it's important that you can rely on each other and that you trust each other. So I saw some um, channels where the persons live in different cities but, uh, but not in different parts of the world. So I think you need also to rely on your internet connection and I think it's also important to yeah, take care of your agreements. And the best way to find out if it would work would be to just make a channel and do a video together. Okay, before this video gets too long, I will cut it here and um, if you have any questions, of course, you can also ask me in the comment section and you can also use the hashtag TamiRambu if you want to ask me something on Instagram and you need an answer directly. So make sure to use this hashtag if you want to ask me something on Instagram. And yeah, that's all. Um, I will still continue to collect some questions for the next Q&A. And I hope you enjoyed this video and well, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye! bekannten Welt ist das Glas Auge eines Diamanten, wo als deren Tränen das Wasser salzig machen. Ich beobachte dich schon seit Monaten durchs Glas Auge eines Diamanten malst. <lacht> Während du schläfst. Oh, oh Edward. <lacht> oh Edward. Maybe I will try it again. So let's see. I have a lot of videos I want to do. So. Mm. Madeleine Richardson. Where do you live? Do you buy your copy?